Um, yeah, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Christina! <laughs> Thank you. I want to talk about it. Damn, you just had me for real. <laughs> morning y'all hello welcome back to the vlog we're in full bloom beyonce week preparation i already got my lashes done i gotta go to the little kiosk um at the mall because i broke my necklace sleeping too hard okay i want to talk about it so i gotta go get my necklace fixed and then i gotta go get a wax and then i gotta go get my feet done i gotta go i gotta call the place and ask is my girl there saying she's been in vietnam for like three four months now like i'm like baby i've been missing you girl where you at okay i need you right away because it's my turn it's definitely my turn so yeah that's what we're doing today i gotta do my nails i had a nail appointment don't want to talk about it i'm gonna do my nails just regular regular schmegular jayla nails and then um yeah i don't think i know one person that hate the mall more than i do i can't stand it and it's crazy because we used to hang out at the mall now i hate it i'm trying to park at the nearest the nearest entrance to the store that i'm trying to go to if i could park right directly in front of the store and go through the store and not even have to walk through the mall even better i hate going to the mall and i don't even have no real specific reason as to why i hate going to the mall i just hate it oh, it's a long walk but god gave me legs i'm grateful Jayla, J A E L A H. Uh-uh. Mm. 757. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> you too. Okay, that was fast. Now it's time to go to my wax appointment. That shit's like 45 minutes away. I really did my big one by moving so far away. You know what I'm saying? I really, I really did a lot. Okay, so I actually pulled up to my wax appointment kind of early. Let me see if she'll take me. Take me, take me, take me, please, take me. All right, let's see if she will take me early. If not, I'll just respond to some comments. Did I just turn on that light? I did. All right, y'all, I just left my wax appointment and told all my business. <laughs> I told it all. <laughs> um, I really do love my wax, girl, but my wax place is so far away from my house now that like I feel like I need a new one but now I'm on my way to get my toes done my pedicure and y'all why didn't lady text me like that's doing my toes I'm like so thrown off by it like I'm like okay she like I told her I said I got a wax appointment at 12 30 in, in Norfolk but I try to get there you know she said can you come earlier she was like okay 12 30 like no bitch I never said okay 12 30 I never said that <laughs> You're not about to, oh, she didn't pull it. She didn't show up on me. No, absolutely not. Okay, I said between 1 and one fifteen. Okay, so yeah, that's where we going. I am killing this to-do list, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all. I can't wait to see how my toes. It looks so good. I am stuck in so much traffic, y'all. Virginia traffic drives me absolutely nuts. Look at my angel numbers, y'all. Look, right there and right there. And do y'all wanna know what I'm going through right now? I'm thinking about not going to the concert. So the fact that I see these numbers right here and I'm having a conversation literally with Arnell, who was supposed to go to the concert with me, but she ended up like not being able to go. So like, it's just giving like, I don't know. I just don't wanna go no more. I just don't wanna go. I just don't wanna go, friends. Like, I'm telling you, like everything is just leading me to, I've been in a real like, just f everything everybody move unfortunately and so once whatever retrograde is over that's just that i'll just have to deal with that but like i just don't want to fucking go that's just that i'm ready to sell these tickets i'm ready to call the airline and say hey um you know i'm not going i can't get my money back but i could probably get me a credit okay um yeah i don't want to go i don't want to go that's literally what i'm contemplating right now i can't believe i'm just sitting up here thinking about not going to go see beyonce but it's just at this point it's just not worth it and i'm irritated and i don't want to go okay friends we got we got a couple a couple PR packages but we also got what I came here for although I'm not going to the concert no more I still am excited about that skirt <laughs> I'm excited about it um and I'm looking for someone to list it that's great that's great okay well I will call him and um I'll see if maybe we can get a group text going on he, you know just so we can have like an open line of communication okay okay I'll I'll go ahead and I'll shoot you the address okay all right thanks so much for the rest of your day what's this say? my Mine. North America animal book. Wow. What's that? Earth. It's Earth. And you colored this? Why did you color this? That's a great job. 
This the one, baby, not the two, baby, not the two. This the one, okay? Let's see what's going on. Oh, I'm so nervous, but I'm so ready to try to skirt on. Even though I'm not going, what am I nervous about? It's gonna be glitter everywhere, bro. Open up a blind or two. Um, wow, okay. I'm so scared to touch this skirt, y'all. <sighs> it's literally perfect, though. Like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. <gasps> it's literally perfect. Oh, I love it. Let me get my phone. So cute. Let me take this off. Cause the amount of glitter on this is absolutely crazy. Don't touch it, baby. Uh-oh. It's very booey. I went and got my necklace. I put it back on. Y'all just listed these tickets for sale. Because I want them to hurry up and sell so I just don't go. Because if they don't sell, then I'm going to go. I just posted them for sale because, like, the vibes are just not vibing. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's just giving, like, bad vibes. It's not nothing. Everything feels like it's falling through. So I'm not going. Do anybody else got like a stress meal? Like a comfort meal? And I know this not gonna do me wrong. For me, it's ramen. Good morning, y'all. I'm on my way to the house. Not the house that I live at, but the house that I own. Um, this shit is a mess. Um, trying to sell this house has been, I mean, it just started, but I hadn't seen the house. I hadn't been to the house. And so I went for the first time yesterday and it's just a lot to process, so. Yeah, on top of that, me just not decided not to go to the concert and everything. And then I got a good morning text message with the flowers that I requested that was gonna match my outfit perfectly. And I'm kind of punching the air right now, but it's okay. It's okay. There is a big storm coming in, y'all. And uh, I'm not prepared for it at all. I don't have no water. I ain't got no nothing. So I'm headed to um, the house now because I got to meet with the realtor. And then after that, I am, I need to do an Instacart order so I can get prepared. And I gotta go get my baby early from school because it's gonna start raining around like two o'clock. And um, my psychiatrist just texted me. She talked about, so what you got going on over here? She want, my psychiatrist always wanna know the tea. Now, I was supposed to take Jax to Monster Jam. I got his Monster Jam tickets, but if it's gonna be all flooded and windy and, and torrential downpours, then we gonna have to cancel that. They did have a show on Sunday though that I was going to try to make it to. I didn't choose a show on Sunday because that's my reset day, so I ain't wanna do that, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, anyway, um, I'll keep y'all updated with this storm and um, I'm very interested to see what the realtor's gonna say about this house. Good morning, y'all, we got a package. I got a big package. <sighs> we got a package. I left outside all night, whoops. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've been having a rough couple of days. Now, I don't know if this is gonna make me feel better or if this is gonna make me feel worse. <laughs> because that storm was a bust, by the way. Thank God. I'm happy that it wasn't worse. But I woke up. Oh, it's glitter everywhere. gonna make feel worse. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Can I put these in the refrigerator so they stay alive? Still gonna take my outfit pictures, okay? I'm a little bummed. <laughs> you know, Meg came out last night. I'm a little bummed, but it's okay. I don't have like fear missing out or anything. I'm okay, I think. Also, I'm gonna go get my jacket done by my sister-in-law. Hopefully we can do that today. I need to get started on that today if I'm gonna do that today. So first things first, we might need to go get a match. It's already late. Oh no, it's not that late. It's not, it's 9 16. So tomorrow I can take these pictures. And I wanna take them at nighttime. That's what I'm in Houston with the girlies slaying the concert. I hope everybody had a great time. You wanna go Starbucks? Starbucks. 
What a short vlog, but a very long week, y'all. Oh my goodness. This week was so energetically draining. Like, I can't even begin to tell y'all like half of the stuff that I've been through this week um, because I can't tell y'all. As bad as I want to tell y'all, there's just a lot of power in being quiet and being silent. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna be a grown woman by my sh I mean, but um, between uh, like, there was just a lot of things like I really haven't had no contact with um I don't even know like you know how you want to call somebody like like I don't want to call him my ex-husband because he like no relation to me but I also don't want to just call him just yet because he don't like just so it's like I don't know what to say but y'all know who I'm talking about um after not being in communication with him for so long and like now being back in communication and we have to communicate because we are selling this house and it's just like y'all the universe was testing me the universe was testing me this week and i don't know like i think it gave like c minus you know what i'm saying there's a couple situations i probably could have handled a little bit better but um you know, even that, I'm like kind of beating myself up about that because I'm like, I don't really, like, I'm not really surprised and I don't really care. I think it was just like, just a very emotional week, especially dealing with the house and, you know, like I kind of, due to the situation, I had to like emotionally detach myself from the house. I was very emotionally attached, attached to the house. Like we bought it on my birthday, you know what I mean? Like, and I just going back in there and just kind of reliving some of the memories and stuff and, you know, and just kind of like, just seeing the effects of just things and I'm just a little overwhelmed by it. So I apologize y'all for the short vlog, but I need to reset my energy. I really do. I, it has been like literally all over the place. Not to mention, I'm just growing, going through like a lot right now, y'all, like for real. Like when it comes to my personal friendships and things like that, personal relationships, I'm just going through a lot. And like, it's just giving season one, episode one, like it's giving a fresh start, you know? So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I just had to come on here and tell y'all that I don't know what's going on with the moon and the stars and just the energy, but it's just a lot. It's very heavy. I'll be okay. I'll be okay, babes. Anyways, I'm just doing a little bit of curl definition because I'm taking Jax to Monster Jam tonight Um, because the storm, they rescheduled it. So I'm just taking him there and... um yeah and you know what else i was thinking about just like taking my pictures like still but like i don't even want to do that y'all i don't even want to do that i just ugh. i don't know i hate the time of this but it's okay i'm ready to just wash my hands of this house and um also this person and just you know what i'm saying it just be that like i don't know like i'm just like was i this dumb when I was dealing with this person or was I just very delusional or did they get worse? Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, for real. Like, if I was, if I fell for this last time, like, wow. You know, that's, that's kind of crazy. I was having a conversation with somebody and they was like, Jayla, I know you. Ah, ah. You used to know me. <laughs> okay. That's exactly what I said. Ah, you used to know me. Christina! <laughs> so yeah, let me go get my baby so we can go to Monster Jam tonight. It's definitely gonna throw off our little schedule, but that's okay. Everything else is thrown off shit. My schedule, my energy, his schedule. Jax is mad because he ain't got no haircut. He been asking for one all weekend. The barbers is MIA. It's just, <laughs> everything else is thrown off shit. Um, but yeah, y'all, I just had to come in and check in. And, um, I don't know, maybe I'll see if I can upload this video tonight, depending on what time we get back from Monster Jam. Um, maybe I'll even upload the clips from Monster Jam, I don't know. 
I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. All right, love y'all. Do y'all wanna know something I feel like is really difficult? Being a mirror, like being so confident and so sure in yourself that when people look at you, they can't admire who you are without being shown like who they aren't. And I know that sounds like some deep but like I'm really trying to say it in a way where it's just like like being a mirror right I don't allow anybody to project anything on me um that shit bounces off like a like water repellent like I cannot be projected onto like I used to be now that I can see I don't allow it no more and then also I don't even have to do anything for people to see themselves when they look at me I don't have to do nothing it's just a mirror it's just there you know and I see myself in a lot of people too but when I see myself in people it's in a way that makes me want to um be better better grow dissect things like okay let me like let me see what I can change let me see you know what I'm saying but I don't know it just feels like when, when people look at me and they see themselves it's like I don't know I don't know how to describe it y'all I don't know but it makes me feel so fucking lonely whether it be romantic or platonic that's my issue like that's what it is I have that I have that thing I can't control it I don't have to do nothing but just be me I don't know I don't know, I hope this doesn't sound like egotistic or like full of shit. Like, I just don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of just venting right now. But you know, this week, since I'm, I kind of feel like all over the place, I've talked to a lot of people. I noticed that when I talk to a lot of people, my energy is all over the place. Um, I've talked to, uh, I've come in contact with some very interesting energy. Um, and uh, yeah, I just feel like, I just feel like I need to practice better spiritual hygiene this week and um i just get my mind back right because it's literally all over the place anyway i'm gonna try to go have fun with my baby um i know he's gonna be so excited but yeah as y'all can see like my energy is just like blah right now like it's so blah and i look like i'm going to brunch not to monster jam uh, I can spot you a mile away. I can see your insecurities written all on your face. So predictable your words. I know what you're gonna say. Who you're fooling or you assuming you could just come and hang. With your homies, but your level of realness ain't the same. Circus acts on your track, those that entertain. Small talk, we know that it's all talk. We live in the land. Factory every time they mention your name. Ask them where the hoes at to impress me. Ask them where the money bags to impress me. Say you got the money stash to impress me. It's all in the game, Ask them where the plug at to impress me. Ask them where the jug at to impress me. Ask them where it's at, only upset me. You sound like the bad song. You ain't gotta lie, to kick in my neck. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie, to kick in my neck. You ain't gotta try so hard. You ain't gotta lie to kick in my neck. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie to kick in my neck. You ain't gotta try so hard. And the world don't respect you, and the culture don't accept you. What you think is all love, and the girls gonna neglect you once your parent is done. Reputation can't protect you if you never had one. Jealousy, conflict, emotional conflict, self pity, conflict, conflict. Under oh, conflict. The love is one in a room, nigga. That's a complex. Let me put it back in proper context. You ain't gotta lie to kick in my neck. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie to kick in my neck. You ain't gotta try so hard. You ain't gotta. Lie. What do you got to offer? Tell me before we off here. Put you deep in that coffin. Been a luxury to talk in. Been a Hello, friends. Monster Jam was cool. Monster Jam was cool. Jax had a great time. I'm in the bathroom trying to make myself puke because um, I think I ate a 164-year-old cheeseburger. <laughs> I thought the concession food was okay, but ain't nobody told me nothing. <laughs> ain't nobody told me nothing, y'all. I'm laying in bed. I keep like feeling nauseous. Like I'm like, what is going on? I thought about what I ate. 
So I'm with y'all. Stan's gonna give me some cookies. And like I came back upstairs all of a sudden, I'm feeling nauseous and I'm like, well, I'm feeling nauseous like this. And I thought about what I what I ate. I'm like, cookies. I'm like, what else? And I was like, oh, that goddamn concession stand cheeseburger got me. This concession stand cheeseburger got me. Then I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna come in here and make myself like puke. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all know how the girls be like, oh, I don't have no gag reflex, like trying to be freaky. Like, I swear I'm not trying to be freaky when I say that, okay? I really don't. And the, and the reason why I don't have a gag reflex is from a very traumatic event from childhood. <laughs> The reason why I don't have a gag reflex is from a very traumatic, a traumatic um, event during childhood when I um, decided to take like a metal, a, 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 a wooden like stick and I tried to open the door with it and it went down my throat. I, I, I've never confirmed the story with my family, but I, th I think I remember it, you know, but I think that messed up my gag reflex, like my defective for real, but I keep gag, like I keep like, I don't know. I keep having a puke and I'm just not puking. And so I'm just in here. And that cheeseburger won't work. That shit like the cheeseburger off the episode of Spongebob. <laughs> shit, Krabby Patty. <laughs> Y'all remember when Spongebob. Y'all remember when Spongebob sold that rotten Krabby Patty to the health this bad day? That's what I feel like I ate. <laughs> And I can't sleep because I'm nauseous. I don't have no ginger ale. All I got is water and sweet tea. <sighs> Anyways, y'all. What a very chaotic ending to the vlog. Um, Monster Jam was kind of weak this year. Like, it won't nothing on the screens. Like, it was kind of weak. It won't nobody there. I mean, you know, they rescheduled it. And it was on a school night, you know, so like, yeah, I guess maybe that's why I want really nobody there. Um, but Grave Digger did his thing or whatever, and El Toro Loco, he showed out a little bit. And you know what I'm saying, honorable mission to the little Dalmatian, the little Dalmatian shorty. Um, but yeah, Jax was out and all shy until I spent $150 on him. Then he turned up, I'm like, damn, he just like me for real. <laughs> He was acting like he did not want to be there. Then he got all them, them trucks. And then I bought him a, a remote control truck. I feel like I'm going to regret that, but whatever. Also, y'all, Jax's tooth came out the other day while I was on live. And it was really, really special. It was really sweet. And that is the first tooth I've ever retrieved from Jackson. First tooth. I've never, all of them have either gone missing or he swallowed them. I just could never recover any of them, but he brought me this one. Um, so at first the tooth fairy had to go to the ATM. And so the tooth fairy then made it to the ATM. And then the tooth fairy met me at the monster jail. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was going to put a hundred dollars on these pillows so he can go to Target and ball out. But he just balled out at monster jail. Maybe I give him $100 and he can ball out at like a school store or something with some educational things. I bet you he still finds some bullshit to pick up. Anyways, shout out to the supporter that sent Jax some money for the go under his pillow girl. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. Also, I saw another subscriber at Monster Gym. Y'all, let me read what this girl said. And then I'm spitting up the phone. What's that about? Burger have rabies? The tweet say, drove from Maryland to Hampton VA to take my sons to see Monster Jam on a school night, but I met Jamie Jet and Jack tells himself, ah ha bitches, Jacks love me. He didn't say it, but he smiled at me and gave me a hug. <laughs> ah ha bitches, it's hilarious. <sighs> it's actually 111. I've been catching all of those. And, um, yeah, my angels have been talking to me, like, heavy this week because I just needed it so bad. Also, um, I just booked a trip to New Orleans to go see Beyonce, so, yeah. I leave tomorrow. 
Yeah, so um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out. Hey y'all, it's Tuesday morning. Um, I just wanna come in here and apologize for the dramatics in this vlog. Um, I just came on my period, so yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>